Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I will be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to get crafty. And once again, I will be trying to channel my inner Martha Stewart because I will be knitting a giant... <laughs> knit a giant... <laughs> I totally missed it. Knit a giant... <laughs> blanket. So I got this knitting kit from Wool Couture. They're an online store and they were kind enough to send me the two kilo Lulu blanket knitting kit in blush pink. So in the kit you get a giant ball of wool. You also get a giant pair of knitting needles. These are just crazy looking. I feel like, you know, they're those vampire stakes in the movies where you go hunt for vampires. Um, it's giving me that kind of vibe, but yeah, these are super cool. They, they would make like awesome decorations around the house too. And of course it comes with a step-by-step -step manual and it shows you how to knit a giant blanket. So I'm going to try my best to follow these instructions to complete this project. Mind you, I am not like a pro knitter by any means. I have tried to knit in the past. Like I've used the regular size knitting needles to try to make a scarf, but I never actually finished that. I'm one of those people that kind of get into it and then after a couple days I get bored and then I'm like onto something else. So I feel like I do know the very, very basic of knitting. I think that is going to somewhat help me. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be fun and interesting. I'm not too sure how long this is gonna take. So wish me luck. Okay, so I'm ready to get started. FYI, if you're wondering why suddenly I'm wearing a white t-shirt, it's because I have this other camera up here and it was kind of like pointing down my top. So I thought I'd keep this PG and put a white top on. So first thing I have to do is create a slip knot. And how you do that is you wrap the wool around like four fingers, turn and then grab this little piece and create like a loop. Like so. And then this bit is going to go into my needle and I'm going to just tighten up a little bit. Now I'm going to wrap a part of that wool around my other hand and then just slip it over my needle. I'm going to repeat that until I get 14 stitches. Okay, so I have 14 stitches here. Now I'm going to hold this needle with my left hand. This is a workout already. I feel like my arm is a little bit saw on this side already now from memory what i do is i just thread the other needle like that into the back of the first loop and then with this part wait is that right wait 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 where are my instructions so what i do is i loop it in this way from right to left like that and then loop it around, I think. And then pull it through. Oh my god, this is so awkward. Maybe I made the loops too tight. I think that part comes off now. Right? Is this looking right? I'm so lost. Okay, I think I did that right. I'm just gonna like keep going to see if this works. next part I don't really know how to do it's like when you purl your second row so it's insert the tip of the right needle from right to left into the front of the stitch on the left needle the tip of the right needle will be in front of the left needle okay 
But yeah, I think it is working. I think I am doing it correctly. It just feels really awkward. Okay, so I'm ready to cast off my stitch. So I've got two knit stitches on this side and now this one is going to go over the second one and that's going to loop in like that. So I'm just going to do that to finish off this blanket. I've officially knitted my first giant blanket. On one side you have the knit stitch and on the other you have the purl stitch. So it's a different pattern. I kind of wish I got a bigger ball of wool because this blanket ended up being quite small. Like it's not very big. I feel like it would fit a baby's crib perfectly. Um, but yeah, for an adult I think this is like a little bit too small. Overall, I had a lot of fun in knitting this. It is a little bit tricky at first, but once you get into like the hang of it and you understand how to do a knit stitch and a purl stitch, it's actually pretty easy. The only thing is that as you start knitting, it gets really, really heavy. So it's just like bothersome to kind of like turn it around all the time, but it is an arm workout. So you don't have to hit the gym after. I'm definitely going to be sore tomorrow. So if you want toned arms and you want a new hobby, maybe try giant knitting. Anyways, that is it from me. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay updated with future videos that I post. And I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye!